guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I posted anything and wow, I am the worst. It's been really busy. I've been taking makeup classes. I just got a job working in Ulta Beauty, which is so cool. Yay me, yay, round of applause. Thank you, thank you. So that's really exciting. Um, but I just wanted to sit down and do a little makeup tutorial for you guys. So, uh, that's, that's, that's really it. There's really nothing, nothing else, nothing else going on. Today, I am going to do a makeup look using ah, the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk uh, eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, guys, I used this the other day for the first time. I was just playing around with it. And oh my god, it's so flippin' pretty. I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying to be better at that. I want to keep it in this box so bad because I just love it. The glow up from the rose gold palette to what this palette is, is insane. Oh my goodness. You guys have probably seen this palette like excessively at this point, but um, just like look at the reflectiveness of this packaging. It's so cute and you open it up and it's just like, hello, hi, she's here, she's ready. Oh my goodness, like all these colors are literally bomb for fall and I'm just like, oh my god, I want to put all of them on my eyes at the same time. Let's just jump right into it. Because these eyeshadows are so uh, pigmented and because there are lots of glittery shades, I'm going to do my eyes first. That way if there's any fallout, I can just clean it up with foundation, concealer, all that jazz. So if I am going to do my eyes first, I always start with my eyebrows just because that way um, they're out of the way. And they also take me the longest to do. But I usually set my brows first. That way it, it gives like a nice smoothed down surface to put my brow products on. So I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to sweep my uh, spoolie through my brows, wipe it down, swipe left, wipe right, you know, like Tinder. So now that the brows are smoothed down, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in dark brown. Yeah, yeah, dark brown. I also have medium brown too, and I didn't know which one I picked up. Well, I have used this quite a bit. I'm gonna need a new one of this soon too. That's why we have jobs. I'm gonna start at the tail end of my brow here. I'm going to take this angled brush. Now I'm going to go in with my Brow Wiz in Chocolate and I'm going to fill in the front of my brows with little, little hair-like strokes. So I'm just going to use the little spoolie at the end of that and we're just going to comb through there. I'm going to take my Shape Tab in Light Neutral. I love this so much. So I'm going to conceal up here and down here. Concealer acts as a primer because my UD Primer Potion is old and I should probably get a new one of that as well. But anyway, I'm just going to blend all this out. Now that we have that blended out pretty decently, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Mercier, Laura Mercier, if we're getting all fancy schmancy. And I'm just gonna take the beauty bender. Beauty bender, it's a beauty bender now. <laughs> Screw the, the L in blender, it's a bender now. Now we are finally going in with the Desert Dusk palette. I'm so excited, oh my God, I can't wait. I'm thinking, because I am wearing red, that I'm gonna do a sunsetty look. I'm just gonna take Eden. I'm just gonna blend that into my crease here. So 
So now that we have the little bit of transition there, I'm going to go in with blazing, this orange right there, and go over that transition shade with blazing, which is basically like the darker version of the transition. This is a Morphe M441 brush, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with saffron, which is right next to blazing that I just used. That's a lot, that's a lot, and I hardly touched it. We're gonna just put that on the outside corner, that inwards, inwards and upwards. Now that the crease is done, I'm gonna use this more packed or this more dense uh, brush here. I'm gonna take amber a little bit at, on my outer corner. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown right here. Ode? I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but... I'm going to take my big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend that all out. I'm going to take my Naked Concealer from Urban Decay and a flat brush. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer from the applicator. I'm just going to create that line for the half cut crease. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take Blood Moon here. Uh, oh, <laughs> that on the concealer. I'm gonna go in with the cashmere, which is at the very end, right there. I'm actually really curious as to how Cosmo would go on. Take the flat brush again and just kinda, kinda brush it. It's all glitter. I'm just gonna add it. This is a glitter. Yeah. Now we're gonna go back in with a little buffer here, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take amber again. And I'm just gonna kind of put that on my lower lash. I'm going to take my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Liner. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. I'm gonna create a wing on my eye. They're pretty similar and I'm just gonna clean them up with my shape tape again. I'm going to take my, oh my gosh, wow, this is really dirty. A Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. This is a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Let me tell you, this makes my lashes so bomb. It is so good. No falsies for me, girl. I'm good. I like my lashes natural. <laughs> All right, my loves, now we're going to move on. Now we going, now we going to move on to the face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now we are going to move on to the face and I am going to start, where did it go? My e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer because I really like this stuff and it works really well to get rid of like 
the excess oiliness that I have on my skin. So I like to just rub it into my hands and then just like slather it on my face, my nose, get in the T-zone area. Pores over here are like, go away. Just leave, leave me alone. My face is primed and since I hit it, I am flushing a little, which is okay. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty foundation in shade 140. Yes, and I've been I've been using this foundation every day. I'm in love with this. Look at the coverage already. The coverage already is insanity. Foundation is done, and look at that coverage, boo. Mm. I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush. I believe this is an elf brush. Oh my. <laughs> Baby, you just hit the thought of me with someone new. You're just making sure I'm never getting over you. We are going to do the contour kit light to medium Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this contour brush for being a Sephora Rogue member. I spend a lot of money on makeup. You guys don't know what a, being a Sephora rogue means. Good. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I ever wanted. My arms are open wide. It's like sometimes burst out into 80s songs. Is that 80s? Oh, I don't even know. I'm gonna sound dumb if it wasn't. <laughs> I'm going to take a Luxe highlighting brush. Actually, it's for a foundation, but I use it for highlighting because I think it works very well with highlighting. I'm gonna take my very, very dirty Huda Beauty uh, Pink Sands highlight palette. I don't even know what palette this is. I'm going to use the whole palette because I think it makes your face look chiseled AF. So I'm gonna take my finger once again. Dab it. Dab it, 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 do. Dab it, dab it, do. Scooby dooby doo. What is wrong with me? I'm in rare form today, guys. Rare form. Which is probably why I chose to film it. Now I'm going to use Santorini to set it. Oh, hi. Mmm. Oof. Baby! So now we're just gonna do the lippy lips. I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick from the Summer Collection in Family Jewels. Yes, I love this dark brown shade, even though it was from the summer collection, I think it's really good for fall. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It really means a lot to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little fall get ready with me type of look today. I don't know why I did that with my hair, but it was fun. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and let me know because then I will continue to make more videos. I know I haven't posted in a while and I'm sorry. Um, it's just been so crazy and I just haven't had the time to sit down and make a video. Today just happened to be a day where I was like, oh my gosh, I have time to do something. So I did and I hope you guys liked it. And leave a comment on what you want to see next from me. I want to do more Halloween looks. I'm afraid because I take so much time and 
nobody watches them. <laughs> so if you will watch the video uh, of me doing, you know, whatever Halloween look, uh, leave a comment. I'd like to know that way, you know, I can figure out whether or not I, I, I want to put in the effort. <laughs> and it takes a lot of time that I don't have. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. For work, uh, 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 subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit that notification bell to be notified of when I make new videos. So, um, anyway, you guys rock. I love you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love. Squad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I don't know. <laughs>